Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Project Cat Paper Lily. Well, this was the very first introduction of the game right here. So this this game is really all about four high school girls, actually, way to make a puzzle right here. And it's essentially said to be a horror game, thanks to developers, Leaf 6010. <laughs> So excited to play this game. Now this really walked through school right here. Proceed to interact. So this is was basically the introduction, and there is a take flower. Sure, I do. Press X to open the menu. It's items. I mean, it was a very good game, right? The building ahead seems locked somehow. To use an item, stay close and select the item from the menu box. Alright, here. The flower sank into the water. Okay. Oh, what the heck? Hello? Pity. You thought that would work? You should be more careful about the decisions you make. The solution may be obvious, but there is always another way. You may not notice right away, but your actions will have an impact sooner or later. You may not even remember what you did to cause it. Sadly, regret is always in the shadow of choice. Also, you know very well this is in your home. So why do you mess with things that you don't belong to you? You're not welcome here. Is this all a dream or what? Look, this is the result of your actions. Hey, that's the white flower I just picked it up for you. The result of your expectations. Things are not always what they seem. What do you think? Does it still look like a flower to you? You're not prepared to deal with the truth. Are you? I thought it was a flower. I can't stop you from coming here. But if you're foolish enough to cross my path, I'll kill you myself. Such is the way of our world. Dude. Actually. Oh, here we are. Whoa. Weird dream. Yeah, I thought I knew it. It was a dream all along. Everyone must be gone already. Looks like it's gonna live I should get to it. They're playing Luigi. Oh, no. You moved it. I didn't, I swear, you know, I hate this type of thing. They're playing Luigi. I mean, you're kind of like summoning demon or something. This can't possibly be happening. It's spelled... <laughs> oh my. Oh no. Stop joking around. This is serious. We should not have played this. Yeah, I told you it's dangerous. I told you we we're going to be cursed. Oh, it's the head. Is that a ghost? We summoned a ghost. <sighs> oh, it's just cat. What's with the crazy knocking? What was that for? <laughs> Did that spook you? You're not supposed to be here, you know? I could say the same about you. Why are you here? Actually, say hello to the new member of the cult club. I had a wonderful opportunity to meet all of the members yesterday. I don't recall seeing you there. You three are not part of the club, are you? That's funny. I did pin you all of all people as the cult club. <laughs> That's because I'm not. Hey, we were doing something here. I'll save you this trouble. 
All three of you moved it. What? The planchet from your game. You will move it. There's no ghost in the room. There's a simple scientific explanation. It's called the idiomotor effect. Simply put, just like your body reacts to pain effectively, it may also react to ideas and move on its own. It pretty much bypasses the part of the brain which we use for conscious behavior. It's not all that different from blinking or breathing. The effect is even stronger. When a bunch of gullible people who are desperate to believe in ghost stories get together and play, there was an experiment where the players were blindfolded and suddenly the ghosts could no longer spell messages. You can try it if you don't believe me. In other words, your mysterious answer from beyond are really just your imagination playing tricks on you. Great job killing the mood. You must be fun at parties. Thanks a lot, cat. Always a pleasure. Alright. So I played as cat here. <laughs> awesome twist, huh? <laughs> Leave 6810. Crowds can save your game. Alright. Here we go. Slot 1. That is really cool. Now, uh, I should try. I bet you think you're so funny. We have other plans for the night away. Whatever you say, it's really concentrate on fixing her ribbon. But it's not the disturbing room. Yeah, I will not do. What are you looking at? What more do you want from me? There's some chalk here. Take chalk? Yes, I would love to. Draw something on the chalkboard. I want to see how much of Alright. So, what I've really imagined yesterday was a flower. Because I drew about yesterday a white flower was actually laying on the ground. And then there was some kind of ghost that it really spooked me out, out of nowhere. I was like, Yo, what the freak is that? Yep, this is probably my first imagination, my first played game. This was the most pointless thing. <laughs> Alright, radio, I guess. What are you even doing? Just looking around. Oh, wait, these are notes right here. One, we need three rooms, 12 candles, a lighter, a room, to hair, chalk, preparation. Sort the desk in each classroom. Turn off all the lights and draw the curtains in each classroom. Drop half them through the three rooms with chalk. In the middle room, place one candle in each desk. Light the candles and wait at least five minutes. After waiting, burn the tuft of hair on one of the candles. Blow on all of the candles. Close your eyes and count to 100. Open your eyes and then question mark. Alright, so I need to search the school for the items first. The room should be in this room. Somewhere. Alright, there we go. Now I should get ready right here. It reads no running in the hallways. We had this first experience of playing an RPG game. Like, you know, it's not my first time playing, like, ever since the debut of my corpse party game. Really went well. But after I got my like, playing it, I was feel, you know I feel tired right now. That's why I stopped playing Corpse Party. I wouldn't even finish it. I wouldn't mind. A list of safety regulations. Uh, can borrow it some important. Uh, we should we should take a look at something. Hold up, hold up. Now what does the note says? The three rooms, twelve candles. All right, we should look at the three rooms first. I don't know if we can go on this way. All right, let's see. According to my notes, I need to move the desk to the sides in all three classrooms. And I could draw a path in the middle of each one with chalk. Well, I'll leave the chalk drawing for last. I want to gather everything I need first. Should I turn it? Sure. This should be easy. Yeah, let me do it later. There, I don't think I feel like I could just rearrange it for some reason. There, right here. I think I should move upwards. Move down below. Uh, 
it must be in the right position, right? If I fail, I had to reset this one more time. Yeah, move this chair right here, move desk, all of it right here. Here, all of them. Dude, I feel like I just. Anyway, I don't, I don't want to give up for no reason. Alright, now one more to go. Then we should be all done right here, and let's just search the items in the classroom right here. It's right here. And this one must be right here. And this one is okay. We're good to go. At least we should myself one more. Now should I just leave? Alright, I should scroll around the class right here. Alright, we got the curtains on. We got okay the clock and the TV. Oh look, there's a pleasure system right here. Love to. The more the merrier. Alright. Dude. I would definitely still do something jam. That's the tier scope. I don't think I do anything from here or anything before we can go. No, I need to finish this. I'm not going home yet. Now let me check. I think we're done right here. I could search more on this on the next episode of this game. So make sure you better smack that like button. And of course, whether you like button or not, if you want episode two on that. So yeah, make sure. Yeah, keep yourself safe, everyone. I had to end this episode so early. And as always. Bye-bye!